Well, howdy then, internet people. It's Bo again, and he's talking about the idea of people letting their anger take control rather than building. And he says that, and I just love this guy so much. That's what that means. It makes me think of Anthony Burgess's. Anthony Burgess, you know that guy that wrote that book? The what, the movie you saw? You haven't read the book, but you saw Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. A Clockwork Orange is how it's meant to be. Is the idea is that it's it's taking an orange and you can take an orange and but if you take it apart, take it apart, take it apart, and make it perfect, then it's just an orange. And it's Anthony Burgess, he's saying, they can take the wicked out of a man, but what's left of them? What's lost most? The decision. And there Bo says, baby, Bo says, he says, or do you want to let your anger take control or do, would you rather build? And that is the difference between Stanley, Stanley Kubrick's version of the movie and the book written by Anthony Burgess where Hollywood didn't want the 21st chapter. Oh, oh. Clockwork Orange must be talking about. <laughs> Yes. And, uh, uh, nothing up my sleeves. Oh, I got your heart in the palm of my hand and your mind so far up my ass. I, you don't know whether to shut or go blind. Mm -hmm. Ha, Smitty. A Clockwork Orange. And Anthony Burgess had 21 chapters in that book. Seven, seven, seven. Each seven chapters represented a portion of the human life. Like toddler, adult, elderly, something like that. You, all the different things you learn in this stuff. He wrote it specifically with a purpose. And the last seven chapters, which chapter 21 would be the last of those seven, it all worked itself out. It was, it was, um, it was Alex in the diner after he'd been fucked up for so long having his brain fixed where he couldn't even fucking stand up for himself or even think straight. He couldn't be anybody. He ran into, I can't remember his name, it really doesn't matter. But he ran into him in a diner and he's all alone and he sees this guy, one of his old droogs, you know? One of his buddies, they used to beat and rape together. And there's Alex, he's sitting there, Roddy McDowell or whatever his name is, Malcolm. Well, one of them was in Planet of the Apes and one of them was an ape, a, a vicious gorilla. Um, but at that last point, when he runs into him in the diner with his wife and his newborn baby, Alex himself, who is the worst of them all and had his brain scrambled, he realized there, and it wasn't because they fixed him. He realized what happens as our lives go on. We go from a place of, of just birth and learning to a place of wanting to make something happen, which is so much easier mm -hmm. if you're into destruction. But in the end, he said, it's not about destruction. The creativity is what we long for, to build something, to have a child, to have a family, to have love and have a world that works around you rather than be fighting against it. And their bow, he's talking about your anger, 
stopping you from wanting you to build because your anger is just too simple. They are not trying to fix anything. What is after this? They don't have an answer to that if you ask them. They don't even care about what's after this. They are finally living in the now and it's too bad their now is just so horrific and brings anger into their home. It's just a thought.